Hey, what's up, you guys? Um, today I'm just gonna show you how to compress music using Windows Movie Maker and iTunes. Um, so first we're gonna start off just by opening Windows Movie Maker and um, taking taking your MP3 file. Now wait, before we do this, if you already have um. I think it's a WAV file. Then you could just skip this step and um, go just straight to the iTunes step, which will be later. But um, for right now, just take your MP3 file, drag it into Windows Movie Maker, and then take it, put it into the timeline, and just go um, render this. Now this will convert it to the, what we need it to. Hold on. I spelled that wrong. Now, um, it it would say best quality. Just click show more options, and then click high quality audio. Now this is Panic at the Disco. I write sins, not tragedies. It's a pretty good song, but um, it is four gigabytes, which is um pretty common size of music. So that's why I picked it. And now, as you see, after you do this, it'll be a much bigger. F oh, not here. Well, whatever. It's a it's still a big file size. So now we go to iTunes. And this is where we start compressing it. Just so open up your iTunes. And then go to Edit. Preferences. preferences then go to Import Settings. Now click Import using MP3 Encoder. Setting. Go to Custom. And then copy down these settings. 48 gigabytes sam stere sample stereo or stereo. Um, check use variable bitrate, quality medium low, sample rate 44 gigahertz, channels. Um, just click auto, stereo, um, normal. Uh, turn smart encoding off and um, check filter frequencies. So um, once you have all those, just click OK, and then OK again, and then click OK. OK, well, yeah. And then once you have all those, it should be still working. <sighs> yep, it's all good. Oh, wait, no, no, no. For the channels, put mono. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Put mono for the channel. And then okay. And okay. Then what you're going to do is take your WMA file and um, drag it into here. And then it, it should say, bring up this box, and then just click convert. And as you see up here, it says converting. So I'm just going to pause it in a couple seconds. Alright, it's about done. You'll hear a little beep noise that goes like doo 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 doo. Pretty cool. Um, and it should be at the bottom. This is a really old version, but it works on all versions, hopefully. And um then once you have this file, this is the new one that this is the WMA that we just put in here. So I wanna take it and take uh drag and drop it out. And then as you see, the file size is 1.11 megabytes. Now, that's much, much better than 4 megabytes. And if I play it, there's no quali quality loss at all. No quality loss. Sounds the exact same. Guaranteed. Or else, money back. Just kidding. But yep. Perfect sound quality. Um, it's actually four times smaller than this one. But um, how small it gets varies. It usually be at least one megabyte. 
It should be no more than... Well, it depends on the song. This is a three-minute song. One megabyte. That's perfect. So, um, you could do this with as many songs as you want. You know, and you could also do this in batches. So, let's say I have, like, five WMA files. Let's drag and drop them all into here. And then drag and drop them all back out. So, um, that's how you do it. Um, that's how you compress music files using iTunes and Windows Movie Maker. So, um, thanks for watching. I hope you try this and, uh, and it does work. And I'm going to be doing this for a lot of my music now. So, um, I mean, you could fit like 100 songs, 100 megabytes, you know? It's not bad. Better than 4 megabytes. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, rate, and goodbye.